Welcome back to the newsroom. I am Joy Uchejim, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The Katina State Government House in Katina has reportedly been gutted by fire early on Monday morning. However, the cause of the fire has yet to be ascertained. Witness close to the Government House told newsmen in Katina that the fire started around 6 a.m. And the Defence Headquarters has said that the two mines-resistant armoured personnel carriers displayed by terrorists in a video in Zamfara State have been demobilised by troops after they got stuck in the swamp during a fighting operation to ensure the terrorists do not make use of them. This is just as the DHQ debunked a viral video purportedly showing the mass killing of 150 persons recently kidnapped in Sokoto State over alleged inability to pay ransom for their freedom. And the Federal High Court has fixed September 11th for the trial and ruling on bill applications for the hashtag end bad governance protesters who were arraigned in Abuja on Monday. The protesters are being tried for alleged treason, inciting mutiny and intent to destabilize Nigeria. In the six counts filed by the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbertukun, the federal government also named a British citizen, Andrew Wayne, also known as Andrew Povich, a defendant. And some of the hashtag NBAT governance protesters have been remanded in Kuje Correctional Center after being charged with treason. Justice Emeka Mwite of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja ordered their remand pending the hearing and ruling on their bail application slated for September 11, 2024. The judge fixed the date on Monday after the plea dead not guilty to the six count charge bordering on terrorism stamped against them by the Nigerian government. And on business, the chairman of Boa Cement, Abdul Rabiu, has attributed the high cost of cement to the exploitation of consumers by middlemen within the supply chain. Rabiu noted that the activities of those intermediaries undermine his company's policy to maintain a 3,500 naira per bag price in 2023. He made his disclosure at the 8th annual general meeting of the company recently held in Abuja. And on the foreign scene, massive protests swept Israel on Sunday following the death of six hostages in Gaza as frustration mounted over the failure of the country's leadership to secure a ceasefire deal that would free Israeli captives. Crowds estimated by Israeli media to, be, to number up, up to 500,000 strong demonstrated in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv and other cities demanding that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu do more to bring home the remaining 101 hostages, about a third of whom Israeli officials estimated they have died. And finally on sports, a late goal by Flores Sebastian earned Nigeria's Falconets victory against the Korea Republic at the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Colombia on the early hours of Monday. In a game where goal-scoring opportunities were far-reaching, it was the Nigerian girls that made the most of theirs, deep into stoppage time at the Estadio Metropolitano de Tocho in Bogota. And these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. Join us again at over the hour for more stories. Bye for now.